Hi, it's Ellen Alavardian, and you're watching 4BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi, and welcome to 4BassPlayersOnly.com. I'm John Liebman, founder and first baseman. And I feel a little funny this week uh, with my usual opening remarks, as you'll hear in a second, but <laughs> here goes. A lot of people think they're too old or it's too late for them to learn how to play an instrument. So I created for BassPlayersOnly.com for people mostly over 50 who want to learn to play bass because I believe you're never too old and it's never too late to experience the joy and the pleasure of making music. For BassPlayersOnly.com, this is the place to learn bass. What a week it's been for me. Three days ago, I interviewed Ron Carter, who's 86 years old. Today, my guest is Ellen Alaverdian, who's 11 years old. If you don't know Ellen, you're probably not on social media very much, at least not the base stuff. Ellen has got hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram, over half a million on Facebook, pretty close to that number on YouTube. She's jammed with Steve Vai at the House of Blues. She's fixed, featured on Victor Wooten's audiobook, The Lesson. She's been on Steve Harvey's show. And she performed at a Golden State Warriors game. She can be seen and heard on her own channels, jamming away, playing along with uh, on tunes by Rush, Muse, Jamiroquai, Black Sabbath, The Beatles, covering some Pretty challenging bass lines by Getty Lee, Flea, Bernard Edwards, James Jamerson, Nate Watts, Jocko Pastorius. She's a natural born groover. Ellen, as a, Ellen, as I mentioned, is 11 years old. Welcome, Ellen. It's so great to have you on for BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi. It's nice Ellen. to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. I want to start from the beginning. How did you get? where you are now I, I know your dad had a lot to do with it you dabbled in piano ukulele guitar drums how did you become a bass player well I kind of my whole life I kind of <clears throat> wanted to play an instrument so so I just kept switching instruments after I got tired of them and then I saw a guitar on the wall which was a bass. I thought it was a guitar. So I'm like, can I play that guitar? He's like, my dad's. It was my dad's bass. He's like, it's not a guitar, but yeah, you can try it. I said, okay. And then I tried it. And then I started doing more stuff on it eventually until this with a lot of help with the posture, the stuff like that. You got tired <laughs> of the other instruments. You'll never get tired of the bass though, will you? I don't, I don't think so. No. I don't think so either. Obviously, you must do a lot of listening. Can you read music? Do you take lessons? I mean, how did you actually learn to do what you do? It's incredible. Well, I did, <clears throat> I did use an app musician to learn mainly songs and stuff like that. Right now, I'm still learning on how to read rhythms and how to read notes, notation. But right now I'm using tabs to do bass covers. Okay. Uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Nope, not nope. at all. Just you, huh? Okay. If, Who, if, go ahead. Sorry. If pets count, yes. <laughs> what What do you have, a dog, a cat? What do you have? I have a dog and a bird. Dog and what are their names? Nail and Margo. Nail is the dog and Margo is the bird. Nail? Neo. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah. so, so tell me, who are some of your favorite bass players? Some of my favorite bass players are Victor Wooten, Getty Lee, Paul McCartney, Flea. That's a pretty impressive list. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't have many things on the top of my head, but I know I can say a lot more if I remember them all. But <laughs> as soon as we're done, you'll remember everything. You'll want to call me back and say, oh, I just remembered. Or you'll wake <laughs> up in the middle of the night. And, um, yeah. 
So judging from that list of players, I could probably guess what your favorite styles of music are, but why don't you tell me anyway? Uh, probably funk, classic rock, and sometimes disco. Okay. How did this whole video social media thing start? Was was that the plan all along, or did your dad just recognize your talent and said, you know, that the people have got to see this, or how did that all happen? I guess, I guess that's what happened. <laughs> Well, when you were learning the bass, did you say, oh, boy, someday I'm going to record this and make videos and share it with hundreds of thousands of people? Or did that happen You know, after you realized that you yeah, really had something going on? Yeah, not not really. I didn't really think that. <laughs> you did it just for the love of music and because you love you like to play bass. I guess. Yeah. I, I just I love watching you play. I love how your personality just comes shining through. You're smiling, you're laughing, you're making funny faces. I mean, <laughs> obviously you really enjoy it, eh? Yeah. And I also really like the way your dad quizzes you. What's the name of the song? What's the album? What year was it put out? Who's the bass player? Is that something that that you had to study like as a chore or did you enjoy it or, or, you know, how do you go about learning that? Is your dad like a taskmaster over you? He seems pretty chill about the whole thing. Well, the only time that he usually does that is when we were doing the top 10 video. I just kind of had the answers next to me, but I just had to memorize it. It was for the video to say the bass player and the album and the year it was released. So I had to say it for the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what is a typical practice session like for you, if there is such a thing? Well, usually I just practice on my own, practice some songs I'm going to, I'm planning to cover or do for a video. And but whenever I do have a session with my dad, it's usually uh, about, usually he tells me the task. He tells me, he puts on the YouTube video, like a drum beat and the chord, and tells me to play a bass line on it. Um, goes out, checks back in, goes out, checks back in. Kind of something like that. Does he tell you uh, by you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I'd like you to have gotten this far or accomplished this? Or does he just say, here you go, see what, see what you can do with it? He doesn't, yeah. He doesn't really say you have to have done this at a certain time, because I really can't sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, I've seen a lot of your videos and you seem to be playing, it almost looks like you're playing a different bass in every one. I'm looking behind you now. It almost looks like you're in a music store. I, sometimes I see you with a Mayonis or a Fender or a Gibson or a Bite or a Hofner Beetle bass. Do, do those all belong to you or your dad? Yes, they all belong to me. Wow. Uh, but I don't usually switch through my bases a lot when I'm practicing. I usually practice on my mayonnaise, and we only switch bases for the sound and base for depends on what situation it is or who I'm playing with. Do you have an overall favorite base though? Yes. <laughs> Which one is that? I think I know, but tell me anyway. The mayonnaise, the red one. Oh, that's not the one I thought you were going to say. I thought you were going to say the the uh, Getty Lee signature base. Oh, yeah. Well, that one's not bad either. Yeah. What about the Bite Bass? I've been seeing more and more about that company. How do you oh. like it? Yeah, it's a nice bass. Uh, that was probably, I think, my third bass. My third bass, my third or fourth bass. How many do you have all together? I have no idea. That many, huh? <laughs> So you have a lot of bases, but you tend to gravitate toward one or two all the time, right? Yeah. Very common with people that have a lot of bases. Yeah. And I see not only a lot of bases, but I see a lot of base gear. And I saw a video of you giving a nice shout out to Tech 21 
for the Getty Lee Sans Amp pedal. That is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. What do you What do you like about it? Do you use that a lot? I mean, tell me about about using gear, the Tech Twenty One stuff in your videos and in your bass playing. We use that a lot when we're playing like rock or classic rock. It doesn't always have to be rushed. Like we used, I think we used it for the Hysteria video. Yeah, we used it for the Hysteria video, and I don't remember the rest, but we use it for stuff like that. It's super popular. I've never heard a negative word about that pedal or any of the Tech 21 stuff. Yeah. Let me ask you something. You're 11. Most 11-year-olds don't do what you do. They can't do what you do. Are you a, a regular kid, too? I mean, I guess you go to school, you have friends, you go places, you do stuff. What's your life like? Yeah, actually, I'm going to go to the movies with my friends tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, well, it's totally normal. Sometimes I think I hang out more than I play bass. <laughs> really? Well, you know what? A, a good balance is appropriate, I think. What kind of stuff do you like to do? I like to draw a lot, hang out with my friends. I haven't done gymnastics in a while. I've done that. I used to do it, but once we moved from LA to Vegas, it kind of we kind of forgot about it. Not much. Just like hang out with friends, draw, whatever I want in the free time. Yeah. What do you like to draw? Mainly people. Okay. I I can't draw a person and and, and have it look like the person in real life. I to, to save my life, I can never do that. And I've known people that are really good at that. Are you pretty good at, at that? I guess so, yeah. I bet you're better than you think you are. It well, what, depends on the other person. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If they're easy to draw, are some people easier to draw than other people? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's really great that you've been introduced to music from 40, 50, even 60 years ago. What do you think of the music that other 11-year-olds listen to? Do you like the music of today? It depends on what, because there's good music today and there's not so much, <laughs> in my opinion. You could say the same thing about 40, 50, 60 years ago. Who do you like today? Who do you like to listen to? Who is good? I don't have like names on the top of my mind because I might like some music that people listen to today but it might I don't know if it is from today or it's kind of old so I don't really know how to answer that question okay uh, do you have a, a playlist that you go to pretty often do you listen to the same few songs uh, or as, as your favorites or is it just totally random whatever it depends on my mood but usually whenever I'm doing schoolwork at home homework or drawing or cleaning my room i usually put on the beatles because it's catchy and it doesn't get me distracted so okay so you just announced publicly that you have music playing while you're doing homework you, <laughs> you, your parents are okay with that yeah 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 how, yeah. Are, how yeah. are your grades you get pretty good grades in school yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to get into a touchy area there. <laughs> what's your favorite, what's your favorite class? Math, because it's not the easiest, but it's only fun when I'm good at it. Okay, so you're in between grades right now because it's summertime, right? So what what grade will you be in in the fall? I'm gonna be in sixth. Sixth grade. Okay, great. I, well, I, well. Oh, what? sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry. School starts actually school school starts pretty early in Vegas. It starts in August 7th. So That's crazy. You know, yeah. if I were you, I would protest. I'd say we're not starting till after Labor Day. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> it's still I, summer. 
Yeah, it's still summer, but uh, okay. Well, you know what, though? Kids get a lot of breaks that we didn't get. You get a break in February, you get a break in March or April, you get uh, this holiday, that holiday. So I guess it all balances out. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay with that? I guess, yeah. Okay, let's get back to the base. I, I just have to tell you that the, the thing that is so impressive about your bass playing is your ability to hold down a steady groove and play it consistency consistently for a long time. Your hand position is great too, by the way. But uh, most of the stuff that you play that I've seen on uh, on your videos <clears throat> is you copying other people's bass lines, which you do very, very well. What do you think about some of the crazy stuff we can find on YouTube with people doing all these crazy acrobatic things on the bass? Is that something that you'd like to do someday? Or are you happy just being a groover and laying it down? Yeah, I'm happy with just that. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. Well, maybe one or two, like maybe some really hard stuff, but I'm not going to really go into that. <laughs> what do you think you want to do ultimately? Do you think you'd like to have a career in music someday? Yeah, we're think we're going to do a career in music. We're doing a career in music. So what can you, how specific can you get? Do you want to, uh, you, you want to be in a band? Do you want to write? Do you want to be the star? Do you want to just sit in a studio and record? Or have you thought about that at all? Yeah, we're thinking we, we were going to, we're starting a band, but we're still trying to find a drummer. So we're starting a band. Yeah. Who's starting a band? You and your dad? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Is your dad, your dad, I've seen some of his videos too. He's an awesome guitar player. And you mentioned one of the basses, you said it was your dad's bass. So he, he plays guitar and he plays bass? No, no, he doesn't play bass. He just has like one or two basses uh, out of amongst all the guitars in the studio. <laughs> all right. Is he a full-time musician? Is that what he does? Yeah. Or just, just, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm too busy learning the bass. Well, what whatever you do, I want I want you to continue putting your awesome bass technique to proper use, just like you've been doing. And remember, the most important thing a bass player needs to do. Actually, let me let you finish that sentence. What is the most important thing that a bass player should do? Enjoy it. Okay, that's very important. What about thinking about as a, a role that you fill with other musicians? What what do you need to bring to the band? What do the others look to the bass player for? Support and to kind of hold the groove. Oh. That's kind of the job of the bassist and the drum. I am, I am just more and more impressed every minute that goes by that's great and i really like the word support because a lot of people would, would say background the bass is not a background uh, instrument the bass is a supportive instrument so you hit it right on lock in with the drummer set the foundation for the band and make the music feel good that's what the bass player does and I, I want you to promise me that you're going to continue to use that awesome technique responsibly and do the right thing. And if you want to do one of those crazy YouTube things, just do it on the side and don't do that when you're on the bandstand with the other people. I know you never would, but you're 11 years old. You might still be impressionable. And I don't want you to listen to people who give you bad advice. It's really cool. And it's fun to watch those people on YouTube. But as you know, obviously, that's not what people want in a bass player. And that's not what a bass player is hired to do. I just want to say congratulations on, on everything that you've done. You're off to such a great start. I'm sure your dad is very proud of you and enjoys playing with you very much. And I just can't wait to see and hear what you're going to come up with in the future. And I want to hear from you. Will you keep in touch with me and let me know what's going on? Yes, and thank you.
Yeah. When I saw you with uh, Steve Vai, uh, uh, Philip Bino was in that video. I've interviewed him a couple of times. You're, you're uh, not after his job, are you? Not yet. The bass player with Steve Vai. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a great guy. A anything else? Any message for um, for the audience of, for bass players only? This is people who are bass enthusiasts and people who want to learn how to play bass. So what advice do you have for those people? Just enjoy it. There you go. <laughs> Alan Oliverdian, congratulations on your success. I can't believe you're only 11 years old. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep making your parents proud and the rest of us. And uh, like I said, can't wait to see what you're going to do next. And we'll continue to watch. Okay. Thanks for being on my show today. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. I'm John Liebman, founder and first baseman. A lot of people think they're too old or it's too late for them to learn how to play an instrument. So I created for BassPlayersOnly.com for people, mostly over 50, who want to learn to play bass because I believe you're never too old and it's never too late and you're never too young and it's never too early to experience the joy and the pleasure of making music. For BassPlayersOnly.com, this is the place to learn how to play bass. Thanks again to Ellen Oliverdian. I will see you all next week, same time, same place. In the meantime, let's play bass. Thank you for inviting me.